We're getting a beat down on At Your Leisure today. Hi, I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Stephen Human. Today we are experiencing the newest in outdoor survival from famous Bear Grylls. It's the most intense course you will ever go through and we will take you from top to bottom, literally. Then Chad and Rhea are on the California coast looking at some of the most famous boats in history. And lastly, Rhea Stein is gonna tell you where you can find Frankenstein's fish. He'll have all the details. At Your Leisure's next. Well, this is a first for me on At Your Leisure. We are here with Darren. How you doing? <laughs> Great. We're about to put some mud on our face. Why are we putting mud on our face, Darren? Um, because it's a spa treatment. We're here at the spa. <laughs> we're we're going to keep the, we're so we can sneak up on our prey. Is that not enough? Thank you, Stoney. We're here at the, <laughs> at the new Bear Grylls Survival Academy outside of Marysville, the Big Rock Canyon Mountain. And we are going to go through some of the most intense survival training today, right? That's what we're going through? And we're do I have enough here. on my face? What? Just, Any little just sunscreen? Make a quick comparison, guys. Oh. Do you look like I do? Because I've got the correct amount on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring it in, bring it in. You know, I sat down with Bear about two years ago. We were having a coffee. And he said to me, I'd really like to create some sort of Bear Grylls Academy, Scott. You know, get kids back outside again, get families and adults back outside. The Bear Grylls Survival Academy is about getting parents and, you know, mums and dads and daughters back outside again. And for me, we run a whole host of different courses, but when you see a dad with their son trying to light a fire, it's amazing, especially as, you know, Bear is the hero, and then maybe the instructor takes over as the hero, but you know, by the end of the course, it's dad. A lot of kids are just using their tablets, iPads and stuff. We're taking them out into nature and learning how to survive off what's around them, with just a knife or just the pack on your back. It's not a boot camp, it's not a bushcraft course, it's a fast, dynamic, thrilling, sort of fun adventure course. So you learn some survival skills, you learn a little bit of bushcraft. It's a bit military now and again, but it's fast, dynamic, and, you know, adventurous. Bear Grylls is a guy that keeps moving. And so we designed this course so that they start off in the water and they're going across the cable bridge, traversing around the mountain, building a shelter, building a fire. And, and we do this in like a four hour course. So they get a lot of skill sets in a short period of time. We need, we need some more right here. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Bear Grylls Academy is at the world famous Big Rock Candy Mountain. I didn't really know too much about Utah. We filmed here a couple of years ago for a couple of shows, uh, so I knew it was mountainous. But you know, what else would you want? Rugged mountains, you know, the weather changes pretty much every half an hour. <laughs> You've got sun and rain and then wind. So it has the feel of an extreme environment. And actually, civilization is pretty much around the corner. But it's got everything. It's just a, a, a brilliant outdoor training zone. Eventually, we're going to do overnight family courses. And then we're going to do instruction as far as uh, outfitters and other people that want to take it to the next level. People need to get back outside. They need to get in the mountains. They need to get in the rivers. They need to, you know, find inspiration. And truthfully, the mountains aren't going to come to them. Right now, we need to get to Chad Booth. He's out in California checking out some really cool boats. Well, anytime you're close to the ocean, there's ships. And anytime there's a ship, Chad has to stop and check it out. <laughs> We're here at the Museum of the U.S. Midway. And this thing is absolutely incredible. If you've never been here, I suggest you take a visit. It's a, it's a remarkable. Yeah. It's the first, it was commissioned three days after the surrender of Japan in the Second World War, and it saw action all the way through the first Gulf War. Yeah. So there's like, there's a half a century of living military history on board this craft. Yeah, the last action was Desert Storm in 91, and then they retired it. That's right, and here it is in San Diego. So, what did you think of the Midway, Rhea? What I really loved was all the old veterans that were on the boat helping everybody and, you know, answering questions, and some of them actually were on that ship. One of the most interesting things about the Midway is the longevity, because that was the last of the flat tops to enter the Second World War, 
and it saw service all the way through Korea and all the way through the Vietnam War. In fact, I think it logged more combat missions than any other aircraft carrier in the naval history. When you walked in the deck, there, there was an F4U Corsair, one of the old World War II models. I believe there's a Douglas Dauntless on there, and then you moved up and you started seeing the Vietnam jets and fighter jets and some of the Korean vintage stuff. So it really is, you take two decks, you walk about a half a mile, and you walk through three decades of military history. The flight deck control uh, on the tower, you immediately, there were two chairs. There was Big Boss and Little Boss, and you had to jump right in Big Boss right off the... Well, they let me. <laughs> I don't know why. And but... relegate me to Little Boss. I don't understand <laughs> that at all. That was really fun. And they had those really cool flight simulators and the music videos and the little short films, and you could get inside those cockpits. It was very interactive, I thought, for, for you know the kids and the adults. These pilots were flying this, putting themselves in harm's way for us. Freedom is never free. Of course, just up the coast a little ways was the real payoff for me because John Wayne's Wild Goose was actually a World War II vessel converted to a motor yacht. It was a minesweeper. The history behind it from World War II on is just amazing. The fact that John Wayne owned it, you know, as his own recreational, we'll call it vessel, is, uh, is an amazing thing as well. Seeing his, you know, his bed, his dresser drawers, the painting that was above his bed, the kids' bunk rooms, everything about the boat is just so special. And we're just proud to, you know, have it in our fleet and be able to drive it. I, uh, I take it as a privilege. Well, I thought that was really cool when you sat in the captain's chair where John Wayne used to sit and he used to put his foot up right up along that door and you did the same thing. That was really cool. I mean, there's pictures in his books on that, which is pretty neat. You can come down, you can get private tours aboard this vessel. Uh, you can come down and sometimes we do our uh, brunch cruises or, and or dinner cruises, which are publicly sold tickets and a wonderful experience and a more economical way to do so. However, if you do want to rent out the, the whole vessel, uh, we can do that for you. Uh, we do everything from weddings, corporate parties, birthday parties, any kind of an event you can think of, we can and do do it aboard the Wild Goose. Now it's located in Newport Beach, not far from some great campgrounds and some hotels, and it's just right on the waterfront, Wild Goose, and they're part of Hornblower Yachts, charter yachts. And so if you contact Hornblower, they can put you onto the Wild Goose site. You can find all of our different ports that we have, from San Diego to Sacramento, San Francisco, and many more. We're here in Newport Beach, and check us out at hornblower.com. If you like naval history, the Pacific Coast is full of it, and, and you can find out more about restored naval boats along the Pacific Coast and in the Southern California area. In fact, if you go to our website, we'll have a couple of links for you. We gotta take a commercial break, but we'll be back with more at your leisure in just a minute. Wildcat, more fun than the usual midlife crisis. The 2015 Wildcat, Wildcat Trail, and introducing the Wildcat Sport. Nothing's as wild. Resting on cliffs of the Severe Plateau, Paiute Reservoir attracts anglers who enjoy trophy fishing for rainbow, cutthroat, and brown trout. It's this week's featured Utah State Park. This primitive destination is a quiet getaway and a well-kept secret. Both the reservoir and county are named for the Native Americans who dominated this area at one time. Paiute is also a great place for boating of all types. The main draw, though, is the quiet solitude. Any day of the week, you can hit the water and have the entire reservoir to yourself. 
or camp overnight and discover dark skies full of stars. This is the place to be if you want to be with nature. Paiute Reservoir is located just south of Marysvale on historic Highway 89. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. In the world of boating, this would be called the party barge. In the world of RVing, it would be called the party bus. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. Welcome to this month's product review for Race City RV. We are standing in the party central of the 334 RE by Brookstone. 34 feet long, most of it party space. Double slides make a lot of space here in both the kitchen and the dining area. And of course, you've got an entire back wall that's filled with entertainment. You got a fireplace, you've got an entertainment center, big screen TV, tons of storage for tapes and discs, and this great island in the center with a cultured marble top by Corian with a double stainless steel sink. Double freezers, double fridge, crispers, three of them, the whole nine yards. This is just a great, great unit. Now, on the cooking side, Notice an extra large propane gas oven. Counter inserts over the three burner stove and they've got lock inserts so that this top insert doesn't slide around. It locks in place so that it doesn't move around in traveling. You have a microwave above with a vent system in it and notice the classic white wood finish all the way around with many of the doors being done in smoked glass. This is just really a classy looking unit. Take a look at this. Okay, I'm not the best sweeper in the world. When I sweep up the floor and I get the dust pan out, I'm always leaving a ridge. You sweep your floor up with your broom and you reach down and kick this. It's like an electric dust pan. I don't know if you've ever noticed this or not, but the most sociable people that travel usually take their pets with them and they got big friendly pets. Pets need to eat stuff. Eating stuff on the road is a problem. Another unique thing I had never seen on a trailer before. Check this out. Right here. This is a pet feeding station. It's a dining room for your pet. You hold your pet bowls under the counter. You pull it out when they need water and food. And when they're done, you just put them away. In the forward compartment of the fifth wheel over the hitch is the master bedroom suite. Plenty spacious. The fact that they've used the light colors to decorate makes it seem even bigger. Outside on the coachman, you will find an awning that goes in this entire area in this new configuration that we're starting to see in 2015, creating kind of a patio area with the slide to the back and this enclosed area up here. Notice that it's got lighting, it's LED all the way across the top. You've got a stereo system with external speakers from your entertainment center. Of course, you've got a nice gel coat finish like a boat on this thing all the way around. So it does live up to the party barge reference I was make, mentioning earlier. One thing about Coachman's that I always like to point out is the way they have designed the camber and slope and cut on their nose of their fifth wheels. This allows a short bed truck without having a sliding hitch to be able to turn a full 180 degrees off this hitch without bumping into anything. I'm gonna go out and put out a welcome sign. Get all my friends over here. I'll see you over at Ray City RV. That's it for this product review. We will see you next month. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit CedarCityAYL.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic Southern Utah. Ray City RV wants your family to experience the outdoors together, and it's never been easier than right now with our spring clearance sale. All of our 2014 models are at the best prices ever, so we can make room for the 2015s. Get into this 2014 Rockwood Tent Trailer 1970 model with event pricing of only $84.99. This is perfect for the introductory unit for a young family. The lowest prices you'll ever see. Ray City RV spring clearance sale on Rockwood Tent Trailers and more. Ray City RV, serving Utah since 1946. 
Polaris is riding into summer with unprecedented savings across the world's best off-road lineup. Save $800 or more on 12 models, including $1,400 off the best-selling Ranger XP900, $1,000 off a revolutionary Polaris Ace, $900 off a legendary Sportsman 570, $800 off the high-performance Razor XP1000, and get financing as low as 1.99% on everything. A mountainside trail, a day of speed that pushes your limits, a desert oasis that opens your horizons, a land of horsepower for every taste. Tooele County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Darren and I are here at Big Rock Canyon Mountain at the brand new Bear Grylls Survival Academy. And this has been, so far, a really great experience. You guys, you liking it, Darren? It's a blast. <laughs> We're making it across the river now. How about we show you a little bit more of what this academy has to offer? Are you ready to rumble? Every time. Oh, great. You ready? I'm excited. This is so much fun. Should you think, hold on, here's a dangerous situation, your hand would come up in this position here. <laughs> Go. Oh, oh, I got him! I got him! I gotta tell you that Scott is hardcore, okay? He's worked with Bear Grylls for years on the show. He's done all the behind the scenes stuff. I mean, he is awesome. So it's such a privilege to be able to be here and be trained by him today and know that he's done all this stuff without the safety gear. He's the guy who preps everything before Bear Grylls does it. So he'll go out, you know, a few days in advance, do all the stuff, make sure that they have some kind of path for safety so that Bear Grylls doesn't get killed. It's awesome being out here with him today. Weather's picked up a bit, bit windy, bit cooler. But this will warm us up. Bit of beer for us. Uh. Super extreme. Whatever he said. Don't be too intimidated by this. Obviously, the kids do it in one or two strikes. <laughs> so there's one for you. All right, Darren, there's your challenge. There's one for you, okay. Less Just to the top more, of the knife, yeah. right? Am I doing this right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pull this apart and make a big surface area. Okay, nice and fluffy. Get the oxygen in there. Hopefully, okay. One. Well, aren't you just special, Scott? Yeah! yeah! So there's no pressure, big boy. I know. Follow to you, Scoutmaster! Keep going. I don't think oh, yeah! Legend. Yeah. Legend. Okay. Go on to me six tries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep going, folks. Are you scared? More challenged than scared. Woohoo! What? I'm supposed to be clipped on for safety? <laughs> what? <laughs> we gotta jump off a canyon into a pond. Straight down this, 100 miles an hour. Woohoo! Certain death. may hurt a little. Well, right now we have to get to our trailhead adventure with Reese Stein. <laughs> I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Pineview Reservoir and take a look at this little guy, a teeny tiny minnow of a fish, not very imposing, but he's destined to grow into one of the largest, meanest, toothiest predators in any Utah lake. What kind of fish is this? Today we're seeing tiger muskie fingerlings. They're young fish that are only a couple months old at this point. They're about two to three inches, and tiger muskie are a hybrid between the northern pike and the muskellunge. The minnows will explode into this, a monster that prowls Pineview, eating anything it wants. The Utah state record is 54 inches long, over 30 pounds of muscle and teeth. From, from three inches to 53, that's quite a jump. That's correct, these guys grow really quick. By the end of this first season, they'll be about 20 inches. 
Last week, biologist Chris Penny and his crew added some 26,000 one to three inch long tiger muskies to Pine View, continuing a successful 20 year effort to establish these fish in the reservoir. We put them in for two reasons. Uh, one, it was to provide additional sport fish for anglers to catch, and then the other was actually to enhance populations of panfish like black crappie and yellow perch. Chris and fisheries techs Jan Schmoltz and Kenley Godlob first acclimate tiny tigers to the water temperature of the lake. Then they dump them into the shallows, where they'll find plenty of plankton to eat. That will keep them from eating each other. Anglers were first dubious of having a large predator in Pine View, but tigers are hybrids and therefore unable to reproduce. One of the great things is we have absolute control over these fish, which means we can put in the number that we want. We don't have to worry about populations getting out of control. And the fishermen quickly changed their tune. The real thing that's changed is angler perceptions. Tiger muskie are now the premier sport fish in Pine View Reservoir, and Pine View is the premier tiger muskie sport fishery in the state. Utah had to once buy tiger muskies from out of state. They still do, but now biologists are learning to build them at an isolated location near the Salt Lake County dump. So this is Frankenstein's laboratory where these monster fish are created. Eggs are first stripped from two northern pike taken from Yuba Reservoir near Nephi. The eggs are fertilized with milk from just three true muskies. The muskies are acquired from sources back east. The five fish produce some 2,500 eggs that are hatched in the lab, and they are fed a steady diet of brine shrimp eggs from the Great Salt Lake. And each one of them little dots is an egg. Really? Hatchery manager Randy Harrison says the tiny lab will be replaced with big tanks in this new building, and reproduction should boom. 2,500 fish today, and uh, in five years we hope to get 125,000 fish in five years. It's all new. It's a learning curve for us. And we're learning a lot about these fish and how, how they grow and how they develop. Tiger muskie get their name from the striped pattern on their bodies. They've also been stocked in a few smaller reservoirs in Utah. And while the limit is one fish over 40 inches, all fish caught at Pine View and Newton Reservoirs must be released immediately. Reese Stein at your leisure at Pine View Reservoir. Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and you'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. Introducing the new Can-Am Spider F3. With a cruising riding position and the most advanced vehicle stability system in the industry, you'll ride with a feeling of complete freedom and confidence. Visit your Can-Am Spider dealer and test drive one today. The new Spider F3. Riding has evolved. Polaris is riding into summer with unprecedented savings across the world's best off-road lineup. Save $800 or more on 12 models, including $1,400 off the best-selling Ranger XP900, $1,000 off a revolutionary Polaris Ace, $900 off a legendary Sportsman 570, $800 off the high-performance Razor XP1000, and get financing as low as 1.99% on everything. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We're here at the Bear Grylls Survival Academy outside of Marysville, Utah, the Big Rock Canyon Mountain, and uh, we'll see you at the top there. Well, I wish you'd hurry up. But right now, we need to get to our calendar of events, 
and our contest winner. Well, our first event is just next weekend at Delta Utah at the fairgrounds there. It's the old school rock crawl, May 22nd and 23rd. This is a rock crawling event where they bring the spectacle to you and let your family see the challenges and carnage up close. Admission is free for spectators. You don't have to pay anything. You can weekend camp for only $10. And if you want to participate, it's only $99 for a full-size rig and $25 for an ATV. Chad and Rhea are going to be there filming, so come out and join us for the Old School Rock Crawl, May 22nd and 23rd in Delta, Utah. Also that weekend, Saturday the 23rd, is the 5K Thrill Seeker Stunt Run, which is like that show Wipeout where all those crazy obstacles are over the top. It's just nuts. It's in Pleasant Grove at the Hee Haw Farms and is going to be as close to the crazy stuff we've been doing here today as you can get. Just more embarrassing. It's $75 per person, and all the proceeds go to the Guardian Angel Council Charity. In fact, for those of you who are interested, we have two free tickets to give away this weekend if you want to run the course. We're going to be giving them away on Facebook, so if you're not a fan, you need to like us because we always give free stuff away online. Right after the show, we're going to send out a special post, and if you want to experience stuff like this, then respond, and we'll pick a random winner for two free passes, and you can run with Darren and Jill at the event. Again, it's this coming Saturday, May 23rd at 8 a.m. You can find out more info on our Facebook page. Now it's time for our AYL sticker winner. Remember, if you don't have one of our bumper stickers, you can go into any AYL sponsor and pick one up. Then send us a photo, show up at an event where we're filming, or just hope we catch you on the road. And you can win. Our winner this week is taking home a vacation to Lizzie and Charlie's in Marysville. This is a premier campground and you get a two-night stay in one of the cabins and a day rental of a UTV to go out and explore the Paiute Trail. The winner is Blake Higginson, who sent in these photos of AYL stickers not only on his truck, but his license plate as well. It's just that easy, folks. Blake is our AYL Fan of the Week. All right, well, congratulations to our winner. Give us a call at 801-947-8888. Now how about we take a look at next week's show? Next week, we're introducing the newest addition to the AYL family, the Taylors, as they take us on the newest ATV trails in the West. Where can you ride these amazing routes? The Taylors will show you every detail. Then, Stephen Human finds nature's music in the wilds of Montana with a group of riders who are going the distance in big sky country. Own the outdoors next week on At Your Leisure. Well, next week's show looks great, but it will not be as extreme as today's. What do you think? Uh, well, you get the mud facial. I was supposed to get off the, the water. We <laughs> went out for a little, little river swimming. We used Stony for a bridge. You know, <laughs> how much better does it get than that? Scott, how'd we do? I mean, honestly. Uh, you know, for the first time, Bear Girl Survival Academy, it's a little taster. The courses are going to be just as epic as that. But guys, you did really well. So I'm going to give you each your Bear Grylls Survival Academy badge. Sweet! Anywhere else. <laughs> so get sewn onto your, That's right. On your pajamas. We earned it. <laughs> well, Tony, this is going to be opening up on uh, Memorial Day weekend, Memorial right? Day. You guys did fantastic. I, I love you guys using me as a, a bridge underneath. <laughs> so, so. We could have drowned if we didn't stand on Stony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got to go, but between now and the next time we get together, make sure that you get out with your family and friends in the great outdoors. At your leisure. Okay. Stop it, Darren. Three. Go. Go. Goodbye. Goodbye. In, in English. <laughs> Not only speak the Queen's English, chaps. Come on, you know that. You have a message. You have a brand. You have something worth experiencing. What you don't have is an audience. It's time to change that. It's time to partner with the number one outdoor program in the country and show the world what you have to offer. Advertising on At Your Leisure is effective and affordable, giving you an audience that dwarfs anything else out there, backed by a proven force of outdoor adventure. Contact the AYL team at 801-947-8888. It's time your message was heard. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.